What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Got the Poet live in effect, like I always am. And we got baby girl Nicole, and we are Jacob. All right, so if this is your first How time are here, we because me and you together, my name is Jay Got, your name is Nicole, it's Jacob. So back to this. All right, so. You guys are new here. Go ahead, uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. I'm not going to force y'all. I'm not going to just, you know what I'm saying, do whatever and keep bringing it up. So, but let's just get right into it. So, we do all Before these. Before we get right into it, okay. at what point of the day did you take your ring off? When I got home. So, back to this. So, she acting like I don't take my ring off when I get home. <laughs> she takes her ring off when she gets upstairs. And no, I don't have a ring on. I took it off when I uh, got home. I'm actually comfortable. This isn't what I wore today. So, um... Story time. Yeah, we're doing a story time. Story time. It's not funny. It's not... It's going to have some comical effed up moments. It is going to have some comical effed up moments, but at the same time, like... We got, we got to tell this story. We have to tell y'all what's going on. So, I, um... This year, um, Halloween fell on a weekend. But it, it didn't happen on Halloween. <laughs> so, um, Nicole went out with her girls on, um, I think it was last Friday. Friday night. This this past Friday? Friday night we went out. It was my birthday on Wednesday. Yep. And, um, and so, as y'all know, if y'all watch the videos, I'm scratching like Pookie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, if y'all watch the videos, I was with this guy on my birthday. Yeah. So, uh, my besties, we went out. We hadn't seen each other since the wedding. So, we went out, you know, just to catch up and to also celebrate my birthday. Yeah. So, we went and had a good dinner. I had a couple of nice little glasses of sangria. Not too many. I only had two. She only had two. Only she would have had three. This wouldn't have happened. Only had two because I was driving myself. Normally, I have my designated Dave over here. But, but I wasn't invited. Designated Dave on there. So. <laughs> nope, I wasn't invited. So, um, <laughs> go ahead. So you know, I'm, I'm I'm on my way home. I had already called him when we was leaving. You know, I'm heading home. Do you yeah. need me to stop and get you anything? He said, "No, I'm good." So I'm like, "All right, I'm heading on home." So I get home and. We, I pull into my apartment complex. And if you're familiar with our apartment complex, it's kind of dark at night. You know, they got lights, but in certain spots, it's kind of dark. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give y'all a little backstory because I had eye surgery. Um, I had a cornea transplant in 2010. So sometimes at night, Nicole don't see very well. Nah, so I'd be driving. But so if I was invited, I, I could have drove. <laughs> but go ahead. So Shout out to the besties. Thanks for the invite. So, I go to pull into my parking space. Now, prior to me pulling into my parking space, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, I should back in. The Lord, the Lord knows what he be doing because something said, no, you tired. Just go ahead and pull in. So I go to pull into this parking space. And as I'm pulling in, I see something in front of me moving. And I go to look. And I squint just like this, like this. I squint it just like this. I said, that's a person. <laughs> I'm laying on the couch. No, no, no. Hold on. No, I ain't finished. So I'm like, it's just a person laying in the parking lot. And so at this point, I'm panicking because I think, okay, somebody got shot in the parking lot. Nothing ever happens in our parking, in our apartment parking lot. Like, Nothing happens out here. Every once in a while, somebody might be arguing. You know, kids might be throwing a basketball too close to your car. But that's it. Or playing soccer and busting we've, your grill out. We've never had any type of violence over here. I've lived here over here since 2013. I've never had any violence. So, I immediately back my car up because at this point, I don't want to be considered an accomplice or whatever to what has ever happened to this person that's laying in this parking space. So I call him. I'm laying on the couch watching a movie because, again, shout out to the besties. <laughs> I was not invited. So I get the phone call, and she's like, yo, there's somebody laying. No, 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 that's what I said. I said, 
I said, I need you to come outside real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah. She said, <laughs> she said, I need you to come outside. So I'm thinking she stopped at the store because that's the only time she calls me to tell me, hey, come outside so I can help her with the stuff in the house. And what, what else? I said... I said, I need you to come outside real quick. And he said, yeah, okay, why? What's going on? I said, it's a body laying in the pocket space. So I immediately he like, grabbed he, the keys. He said, what? <laughs> I grabbed the keys. Hold on, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> I grabbed my keys. I put on some slides. I got on like some sweatpants and a t-shirt. <laughs> And I don't even grab my mask and at like, this he point. He has nothing. No, I, no like, jacket, no nothing. nothing. It's a little chilly outside. Yeah. He don't have nothing. Nothing. So he and comes then up I, to my yeah, car. Yeah, I come outside and I'm... So hold on. This is this is where I, this is where I, I got to intervene. <laughs> so I go up to the car and I'm... I'm while I'm walking to the car, I'm looking around. <laughs> and I don't see anybody. I'm like... He think I'm crazy. I this think way. she's drunk. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> and I knock on the window. And when I knock on the window, she rolls it down. I'm like, where's the body at? There's a car in front of her backing out. And she's like, they they open the door like, hey, can y'all back up a little bit? So I'm standing there like, hold on for a second. Like, you don't know what I just... She just told me there's a body <laughs> laying out here. I'm like, hold on. So I'm like, what are you talking about? She was like, it's over there. So I'm like, all right, back up. I'm going to go over there and look. So... At this point, I walk over there, and there's like three park. Uh, <laughs> they ain't hear that. There's like three empty parking spaces, right? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this isn't part of the story. So anyway, look. So so there's three empty parking spaces. And I got my phone in my hand and I cut the light, the, the flashlight on my phone on so I can see when I walk over there. Because like she said, it's dark when you walk in here or when you come out here at night. So I'm walking up and there literally is a body laying on the <laughs> ground. At this point, I'm panicking because I'm like, so I like I said, I got the flashlight on and I'm looking and I'm like, and and no disrespect, no disrespect at all. But it's dark. The clothing this person had on, I couldn't tell if it was a man or a woman. So I walked up and I was like, sir, sir ma'am. Ma <laughs> it's not funny. And mind you, this is not a funny situation. It's not a funny situation. It's not a funny and I'm like, situation. I'm like, sir, ma'am, like, like, are you all right? And at that point, they lift themselves up. And then I put the flashlight on their back and their head. I mean, the back of their head is busted open and literally blood is dripping from their head. And I, I'm like, yo, are you okay? I just need help getting in the house. I'm like, nope. I'm not, no. <laughs> no, I don't feel comfortable touching you with all this blood on you, number one. Number two, like, COVID is still out here. COVID is real. Like, I'm sitting there like, but at that point, I don't have a... Yeah, 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 I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. about to get to that. So I turn around and she's like, are you all right? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. And the, this, there's a car pulling up and it's like, what's going on? I'm like, yo, I just walked over here and she was laying here. And they was like, yo, did, have you called the ambulance? I was like, nah, I ain't called nothing. She was like, don't call the ambulance. I just want to get in the house. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, I, no, I couldn't have this happen. So, so at this point, I didn't finally park my car. <laughs> And I come back over and he's like, Pay, go get my mask. Go, go get, get my me a mask. mask. <laughs> go get my mask and I need and a, jacket. a jacket. So I go get his mask and a jacket. And I'm, at this point, the people in <clears throat> their car have parked. The girl has called 911. And she We out. hear sirens. Yeah. And so I'm like, Well, it's the lady, it's the neighbor. I was like, I said, I asked her, I was like, Is anybody in your house? Because all her lights were on. Like upstairs, like, downstairs. Upstairs and downstairs. So I'm like, it got to be somebody. So I'm banging on the door. Nobody comes. So I know she be talking to the other neighbor that lives next door to her. So I knock on her door. And she's, you know, who is it? And I said, it's your neighbor. I'm trying to find out if you know if anybody is home with this other lady. And she kind of cracks her door open a little bit. And I was like, look, your neighbor next door has fell out here and bust her head open. She was like, oh, my God. 
I ain't gonna say the lady name, but she We're said, not saying oh my name. God, bleep, 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 not cuss words, but she said the lady name. So she comes out and she's like trying to For the sake her. of the story. We're gonna call her Barbara. Nah, I was gonna, uh, we, we were in the same B, I was gonna say Bertha. <laughs> I like Barbara. Barbara. All right, Barbara. We're gonna call her Barbara. For she's the like, sake oh of the- my God, Barbara. Um, so she's trying to talk to her because the whole time the lady is like laying back and then she sit up a little bit. Mind you, blood is everywhere. Like everywhere. Everywhere. We talking about you need to go to house. I ain't going to no hospital. And I'm I at just the- need to get in the house. Police call. The police officer. The first police officer that pulled up was a, a sideline comedian. Because I said, well, we tried to knock on the door. She said, ain't nobody in there, but all the lights on. He said, well, I'm going to go give them the police knock. See, that works. Sir, sit yourself down somewhere. So, so he went over there and grabbed. Boo, 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 boo. Ain't nobody come to the nobody, door. Nobody came to the door. <laughs> nobody ambulance. come to the door. Nobody. So the ambulance pull up. Mind you, five police cars then came after this. I'm like, she fell. Like, literally, literally you'd have thought somebody got shot over here for the amount of cops that showed up. Like, she literally failed. Mm-hmm. She finally declined. She didn't want to go to the hospital. Even after her other neighbor came out of the house in her bedroom robe. And said, Barbara, Barbara, you need to go to the hospital. You don't see your head. I don't know why you being hard-headed. You need to go. <laughs> this isn't funny, you guys. It's, it's not. It is not funny. But she, I ain't going to no hospital. Why Barbara Man. and the neighbor sound the same? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just trying to un- get them to understand. But they, they understand. The whole time that I'm sitting there listening to this, I am thinking to myself, I almost hit that damn lady. If she would have had that third if drink, I had that third she would be in jail right now. And, and I, I would be a newly married man with the wife in jail. I would, I'm like... We don't know how she failed, but what what we will tell you is that she finally declined. She said she didn't want to go to the hospital. So I had to sign paperwork saying that I I heard her tell the paramedics that she didn't want to go to the hospital. And the paramedics helped her in the house. But when her neighbor picked up her bag, she had four. Ice House 40 ounce beers in her bag. <laughs> so we have come to the conclusion that Barbara was drunk or either high or both because we don't know how she fell. Like, she was not close enough to the curb to have fallen off the curb. She was we like, think she like... She was like three or four feet away from the curb. We think she was like drunk before she went and got the bills and fell on her way back. Oh, yeah, like... And we really don't know how long she had been laying there, so we don't know if she passed out. She probably blacked out. Yeah. We don't know, but... yeah. The uh-huh. problem that we're having now is that we ain't seen her. So we're hoping that she just a little embarrassed and she had yeah. out. So we're going to end the video right there and y'all tell us what y'all think happened to her. <laughs> no, nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. We're going to assume that she's just a little bit embarrassed. Yeah. She don't want to go. Or maybe she did finally go to the hospital. Yeah. Hopefully. But yeah. I'm just letting y'all know, please don't drink and walk. In the dark. I'm not trying to be funny. <laughs> most, most people say don't drink and drive. Don't drink and walk. That's You can't even go to the bar. <laughs> hey, can I get a drink? Oh, never mind. I'm walking to the car. And if, what? You, if you are going to drink, take a flashlight. Oh. Like, and seriously, like, just, just be careful, y'all. Like, just, just, just be careful. Yeah. So... Yo, if y'all like these story times... That was story time with Jacob. <laughs> Yo, if y'all really like these story times, hit that like button. Um, share this video, too, so other people can see it. Uh, but yeah, we're going to end it right there. Um, and understand, we are not laughing at the situation. We're not, it was no. A very, it was a very serious situation. Yeah. But you always have to put some humor in everything. Because in 2020, if you don't have any humor, you ain't got nothing. Yeah. So we're going to end it right there. All right, y'all. We out.